For James T. Network Sports, I'm Sharon Murawski. We're out here at the Georgia Dome where the ACU football team is set to take on the Georgia State Panthers in their first game of the 2014 season. For a game recap, here's Daniel Zapata. The ACU Wildcats began its 2014 football season in style as it took on Georgia State in the Georgia Dome. The Wildcats took an early 3-0 lead and the defense showed up on their first drive as safety Angel Lopez recorded his first interception of the year. New quarterback Parker McKenzie looks sharp as he connects with Cedric Gilbert for a 60-yard Wildcat touchdown. Defensive end Nick Richardson led the defensive charge and inched closer to the all-time sack record with two sacks against the Panthers. Kinsey showed off his arm and Demarcus Thompson recorded one of his nine catches on the night to move the chains for the ACU offense. But the Panthers would have the last say as they score on a 41-yard pass from quarterback Nick Arbuckle to give GASU a 21-16 lead at the half. Wildcats would respond in a hurry in the third quarter as Jamie Walker makes the catch and runs it in for the ACU touchdown. McKenzie takes it himself and ends up drawing a spearing call on the defense, resulting in an ejection for the Georgia State defensive player. Cade Stone gets in on the action with a touchdown reception, giving ACU a 37-28 lead with six and a half minutes left in the game. But the momentum would quickly swing to the home crowd as a Parker McKenzie interception would lead to a long return and a Georgia State score. Arbuckle found ways to escape from the ACU defense multiple times down the stretch, including the 17-yard run, bringing Georgia State into field goal range. After an impressive end-of-game drive, Georgia State would take a 38-37 lead on a field goal with just four seconds left in the game, securing the loss for the Wildcats.